Chinese embassy in Addis Ababa said the economic and trade delegation led by China's Minister of Commerce, Chen Deming, is to pay a three-day official visit to Ethiopia from January 11 to 13, 2010. Getong Kapede has more from Anna. The embassy said the delegation will hold discussions with Prime Minister Malizinawi and ministers on bilateral issues of Sino-Ethiopian cooperation. The two countries will also sign various cooperation agreements. The delegation will also exchange views with AU officials on mutual concerns of Sino-Africa and will visit the ongoing construction of the AU headquarters. Chinese ambassador to Ethiopia Gu Zhuangzi told the Ethiopian news agency that the visit of the delegation would further enhance the existing excellent relations between the two countries. He said Ethiopia is the first country which benefited from the first eight measures the Chinese government launched for African countries. It will also benefit from the new eight measures declared at Sharm El Sheikh, Egypt. Ethiopia is one of the major cooperation partners of China. Uh, of course, will definitely benefit from the new measures. Because three years ago, while the, uh, our president announced the original new, eight, uh, new, new policy measures, uh, Ethiopia is, is the only country which benefited from the, all the eight policy measures. China would extend support to Ethiopia's carbon-free hydroelectric power generation development, he said, adding his country will continue to assist and consult in the efforts to mitigate climate change. He said his government commended Ethiopia's positive and constructive role played in coordinating Africans on the issue of climate change. The ambassador said China is willing to ensure its accumulated experience in the agricultural sector of the government of Ethiopia has attached due attention to the sector. Ethiopia is enjoying a double-digit growth and this enables the two countries to further forge their relations. He said Ethiopia is a very good partner for China for its commendable role in Africa in general and ensuring peace and stability in the Horn in particular. Despite the global economic downturn, the trade volume exchange has shown growth in the Ethiopian side and the zero tax treatment offered by the Chinese government to African countries that is to be launched this year is expected to increase the exchange. The ambassador said the 40th anniversary of Ethiopia-China diplomatic relations will be celebrated this year with various assortments. <laughs>